Come over here closer. By the edge of the fire. This book of Chinese poems you gave me? It's exquisite. I read them before I fall asleep. And I find myself... I'm ashamed to say it. I'm ashamed because I feel so little shame with you. I find myself crying. And I don't know why, but... I think of Emily. I read the poems. I think of Emily. And cry. And I bless you for bringing it all into my life. Amy. Yes. Do you know how much I've come to need you? Need me? Yes, and to want you. I don't want to hear that. Well, I want you to hear it. This is my life I'm risking. It's my life I'm offering. I need time, Jenny. Time. Give it to me. I have this teacup with a little crack in it. You can still drink out of it, yet you know one day it will break. It's a very fragile teacup. I used to drink out of it, think that my life was like that. And I met you, and I stopped using that teacup. I don't know why, but I can see that teacup right now. I can feel it in my hands right now. I would never hurt you. I know that. I love you. Are you? I thought that you might not understand. But I knew that you would sense something gradually. Something of what I was feeling. She's asked me to live with her, and I want to. I want to. Who do you imagine you're talking to? Close my ears to this overwrought display of passion. Overwrought <laughs> display, indeed. Can't you see that I want to be alive? That I don't want to walk and talk through things. That I want to have a place to walk to, a specific destination. That I want to talk about things that I'm capable of, I don't know, waltzing. Are you capable of giving up Beth? Have you thought of that? Well, yes, I've thought of that. It saddens me, but it may be the only way I can find myself. Saddens you? Yes, it saddens me that she'd grow up here with either you or Leonard. Because so much is happening, so many things are changing. And not just within myself, but out there. And Beth could be responsible for some of those changes. But here she'd grow up and life would be a panorama that moved only because someone was cranking a machine to make it move. And everything she'd see and everything she'd hear would be artificial. Artificial images, artificial music. Where are you going? Amy! To New York, I think. I was supposed to go today and I decided not to. Now I don't know, I think I made the wrong decision. I think I'll go after all. I think you made the right decision. I've changed my mind. It's just not done, this sort of thing. It's being done right now.